Hi everyone. Welcome once again to the virtual learning program prepared by Rainbow International School. Today we shall be discussing the third chapter of uh, David Copperfield uh, written by Charles Dickens. Okay, so in chapter 3 we have this title David the Orphan. The settings are at Salem House in London, Lander Star, uh, Stone, Suffolk, East of England, and at the Bottle Warehouse in London. Okay, this is the Bottle Warehouse in London. It's part of the warehouse, and you may, you will see David sitting there, seemingly sad and tired. Okay, let's see what happens in Chapter 3, but before that, let's continue with the other story elements which... Uh, uh, we may extract from chapter 3. The next is uh, the set of characters. Uh, in addition to the characters we have met in chapters 1 and 2, we have now four new characters. Mr. Micawber, an unsuccessful businessman. Mrs. Micawber, his wife. Mr. Kenyon, the manager at the bottle warehouse. And Mrs. Quickle, uh, the wife of uh, Mr. Crickle, the headmaster of Salem House, and she's the one who told David that his mom has passed away. So we have Mr. Micawber here, Mrs. Micawber there, and Mr. Kenyon, and Mrs. Crickle here. Okay. Now let's try to deal with the summary. Okay, before we go along with some uh, slides. Okay, let's read all together. As uh, just like before, we assign uh, chapter chapters for you to read before we deal with the presentation, so that you'll be prepared and ready, and you are aware. Uh, you somehow know what happened in the chapter. Okay, so here in this chapter, we may read. Mrs. Crickle was the one who told David that his mother had died. Upon reaching Vlanderstone, he saw the bodies of his mom and, the, and little baby brother. After the funeral, Peggotty was told that she was no longer needed by the Murdstones. So she left and she took David with her to Yarmouth. The time when David had to leave for Vlanderstone, Peggotty had become Mrs. Barkis, so they got married. The cart driver, remember, Mr. Barkis. Upon reaching his own house, he was told that his schooling, David's schooling, can no longer be afforded, and even at a young age, he was sent to London to work in a bottle warehouse, where he cleaned the bottles, filled them with wine, and packed them in cases. David was told by Mr. Kenyon that he would be staying in a room in London owned by Mr. Micawber. He has grown fond of the Micawbers and he felt sad when Mr. Micawber was imprisoned for not paying his debts. And David tried to help the family in his own little way until Mr. Micawber was released. The Micawbers yeah, then decided to leave London for Devon, which made David very sad. The time David was assigned to another family, Mr. and Mrs. Tip, he then decided to go to Kent, David, to search for his father's aunt. Do you remember uh, Aunt Betsy Trotwood? Okay, now David will try to look for uh, Aunt Betsy in Kent because he remembers that's where she lives. And she, uh, David has 10 shillings on hand. This 10 shillings was uh, given to him by uh, Peggotty. Okay, let's see what happens in chapter 4 uh, after the discussions we shall be making during this presentation. Now you will see in chap uh, on page uh, 93 you'll find questions about chapter 3 okay now will you please turn your book to page 93 okay, page 93 is like 
uh, it has six questions for us to answer okay let's take the first one you have to uh, you you can see untrue sentences in your book and we have to rewrite them with the correct information so it was given here number one there okay, we have six questions as you can see and we have it, it on page 93 okay so the first question is I mean the first untrue sentence is David went home because his mother wanted to see him no it's not true because David went home because his mother had died and for the sentence number two Peggotty took David to Yarmouth to stay with Mr. Barkis. No, Peggotty took David to Yarmouth to stay with her brother Daniel and the two orphans who were adopted by Daniel and their names are Ham and Emily. Okay, sentence number three. The Murdstones arranged a job for David in a lawyer's office. Oh no, the Murdstones arranged a job for David in a bottle warehouse. Okay, the fourth sentence, David was proud of his new job and enjoyed it. Let's see, David was deeply ashamed of his new job and hated it. So let's go to number five, sentence number five. David did not like the McCover family. This is not true because David became very fond of the McCover family. Uh, I want to mention that Mr. and Mrs. McCover has three children okay for number six the last sentence mr. McCover was sent to prison because he had been in a fight and that's not true we all know that mr. McCover was sent to prison because he could not pay his debts okay so let's try to go to the next slides in this slide you uh, slide you you will find the comprehension questions which are uh, I gave you last uh, which will be answered by you um, and the answers after after writing your answers in the copy book please send them to uh, my account in whatsapp and in discord okay so what happened in the household after Clara's death that's question number one for chapter three and what happened to Peggotty on the holiday so that's question number two okay so let's see uh, here is a thank you slide because we're about to end this uh, video presentation but before that I would like to mention that uh, as I have given you the homework the last time okay about uh, in chapter two about the comprehensions about the David's earliest memories, you remember? So I gave you another question. It's about how do we know that Peggotty loved David? Okay, let's have a short discussion of these two questions. What were David's earliest memories? And um, I, I know some of you have submitted to me the answers. And I'm happy that uh, most of you have matched with the answer that we, uh, that we expected to hear from you. And just let me summarize the answers uh, given by, submitted by uh, some of you. So here, what were David's earliest memories? Allow me to read. David remembered his mother and his nurse, Peggotty. His mother was a pretty woman who had married a much older man. And David remembered that his mother had a nice shape and pretty hair. Peggotty had no shape at all. Peggotty was very kind to David and his mother and she loved them both very much. David remembers reading a favorite book to Peggotty. He also remembers that he was very happy during this time of his life. Okay, so let's see. How do we know that Peggotty loved David? Peggotty loved David before he was even born. She loved and cared for Mrs. Copperfield and she was against Mrs. Copperfield's marriage to Mr. Murdstone because she knew that it would be very upsetting to David. Peggotty took David to spend two weeks with her family in Yarmouth when Mrs. Copperfield was marrying Mr. Murdstone. 
When David was sent away to school, she gave him some money and kissed him goodbye as he left. When David was in trouble, she sent him money so that he could visit his great-aunt Betsy. Peggy always kept a room ready for David so that he would always have a home. All right, that's uh, their house in their house, uh, in the house built by uh, Mr. Barkis for the two of them. Okay, so now it's the thank you slides, and I'd like to thank you for uh, staying with me. Thank you for your time, and always be careful, be safe, and happy virtual learning. Okay, goodbye.